Right now, new video of a three alarm fire in Fort Collins. This video shot by 7 News viewer Ashley Gonzalez at the Buffalo Run Apartments. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon there live. And Lindsay, you talked to witnesses about how this fire started. And I talked with a man who lives in the apartment on the second floor here. He says he was asleep and his roommate woke him up saying there was a fire outside. He thinks it may be from a cigarette butt that they keep in buckets like this. It's just like hard to like walk away, you know, because that's all that we have. Families in Buffalo Run Apartments devastated after an enormous fire engulfs part of a building, destroying at least six units, damaging another six. My roommate about four o'clock in the morning um, came in and said, Michael, we're on fire. Michael Cameron was asleep, but told investigators he thinks a cigarette not fully extinguished may have started this. By the time he woke up, it was too late. I tried to put it out with a glass of water and all that did was break the uh, break the sliding glass door and then it was over by then. In the unit above Cameron, Amanda Size woke up to what she thought was thunder, but then she saw flames. She grabbed her twin sons and started pounding at all the neighbors' doors. By the time we got everyone out and across the parking lot, it was just in a huge flame. This video shot by neighbor Lillian Dennison shows the flames which jump from the second to third floor outside of the building into the attic and eventually into apartments. 40 firefighters attack the flames while evacuating 24 units. The cops were banging on the doors and you could hear them banging on the neighbor's doors. The Red Cross is working with residents, many who say they don't have insurance. That's everything you know that I've worked for, you know, that's my kids' stuff. We don't have anything left. Now, I just spoke with the area property manager just about 30 minutes ago. She told me no one in this building is still allowed back inside. The Red Cross has set up a temporary shelter at Timberline Church. I spoke with fire officials, and they say they are still investigating the cause. Live in Fort Collins, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.